A Valley man is shocked tonight after he ordered a $1,500 drone online. Not about the price tag, but more so about what was actually inside the box when it was delivered. Uh, that's why he is asking for three on your side's Gary Harper to get his money back. Well, not only was this guy shocked when he opened up the box and looked to see what was inside, he says he was even more shocked at what Amazon told him. You could say Jason Perez has a fun job. He's a commercial drone operator. Companies hire him and his drone to inspect things that are kind of difficult to get to. Inspect towers or uh, pipelines for different gas companies. So when Jason heard about a new drone that came out with a better camera, he got onto Amazon and started shopping. The camera has a one inch sensor on it, so you can, the picture quality is way better. Jason says he found the $1,500 drone that he wanted on Amazon and it was being sold by a reputable third party with great consumer reviews. So Jason paid Amazon the $1,500 and waited. I'm waiting and I'm anxious. After a few days, Jason says a delivery driver showed up at his door with a box presumably containing the drone. But when it was handed to him, it was heavier than it should have been and it had duct tape on it, which Jason thought was unusual. You know, I noticed it was weird. There was duct tape on it. I thought, well, maybe they did it for reinforcement, maybe came loose, I don't know. Suspicious, Jason says he immediately opened the box and what he found, he couldn't believe. I slid it open, I pull it up, there's duct tape in here, a brick. Yeah, the box had a can of apples of all things and a plastic bag containing rocks. Obviously, someone had intercepted the package, stole the $1,500 drone, and then replaced it with worthless items to be delivered to Jason. It looks like the duct tape is over clear packing tape, so it looks like it was cut open and then retaped with the duct tape. I would agree with that statement. Yeah, it does. Jason the, says he uh, filed a claim with Amazon and told them the box he had just opened contained a bunch of junk. Amazon said it would investigate, and they did. However, they later denied the claim and said they would not be reimbursing his $1,500. For Jason, it's a hard pill to swallow. I struggle every day to, to, to support my kids and my wife, and somebody does this to me, you know, and... And Amazon doesn't want to help. Three and your side got involved, and we asked Amazon to look into the matter again. The company did and wound up returning $1,500 back to Jason. Amazon also said it decided to return the money before Three and your side got involved. Jason, though, disagrees and is thrilled to have his money back. Thank you, Gary. Three on your side. I appreciate the help. You help the little guys, and uh, you keep the big guys in line. Thanks. By the way, I did ask Amazon how they thought this package wound up with a brick, apples, and landscaping rocks. What exactly happened here? They never gave me any details, though, but I do appreciate the fact that they did return his $1,500. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.